You ever hear someone argue a point that was effective, even though it didn't quite ring true? Chances are, they used a logical fallacy. I'm Brian Dunning, and you're watching In Fact. Welcome to the show that gives you the real facts behind popular myths. In this first of three videos, we're going to look at some common fallacious arguments, ways that people make their points sound convincing, even when they're not true. A common one is the ad hominem, arguing against the person rather than against the argument. Let's say some guy is trying to convince you that Einstein's theory of relativity is wrong. Einstein, because this is what I imagine someone who uses logical fallacies looks like, Einstein? That guy married his cousin. How can you trust his calculations? Flip it around and you have the bandwagon fallacy, which tries to claim that something must be true because so many people believe it. 50 million people have read The Secret. That many people can't be wrong. Oh yes, they can. How about the people whose religious or political beliefs are different from yours? That's a lot more than 50 million right there. You can also use the argument from antiquity to prove that something must be true because people have believed it for a long time. Chinese medicine's been around for 5,000 years. It wouldn't have lasted that long if it didn't work. Being ancient only proves that an idea comes from pre-scientific times. Maybe it works, like the wheel. Maybe it doesn't, like burning witches. Some more great ancient wisdom. A related tactic is to pull out the all-natural fallacy. This is a great way to sell a product by raising the specter of concern about competing products that might be tarnished by modern knowledge. You should sprinkle some of this Haitian zombie powder into your wound. Ground human bones, hemlock, stinging nettle, pufferfish neurotoxin. It's all natural. The argument from authority ignores the need to have good information and instead relies on an authority figure. It doesn't matter what your research shows. My information came from a scientist so it can't be wrong. But if all else fails, fall back on the appeal to quantum physics. This is why people think Deepak Chopra knows anything. He throws around terms like this to make whatever he says sound scientific and advanced. Quantum physics links our metaphysical beings through quantum entanglement. Hey, it sounded over my head. He must know what he's talking about. Next time, we'll look at some ways that language itself can be misused to accomplish the same thing. I'm Brian Dunning, and this has been In Fact. In Fact is made possible by financial support from viewers like you. Please visit infactvideo.com.